Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Math with Mr. Douglas. Today, we are looking at the wonderful world of ice cream. Yes, what? Ice cream? Are you ready? Here we go. So today, we're going to be talking about ice cream. Didn't expect that one, did you? Yes, so this is my lesson where uh, I always reference ice cream cones. So we all have an idea of what ice cream cones look like, right? Well, that's the 2D world, isn't it, what I just drew? That's just the 2D world. But today we're in three dimensions, which is way yummier. So we're going to be talking about two things. One is going to be spheres. So that's your ice cream. And, of course, we're going to be talking about what I think is the most important, is cones. I'm a big fan of the waffles, of the waffle cones. And... If you happen to be in Singapore and you happen to be watching this video, Birds of Paradise has handmade waffle cones. They're so good. They're so good. I think are all yeah. They're they're just awesome. Head down Birds of Paradise. There's one in uh, Changi Airport, and I think there's one in East Coast as well somewhere. Um, there's my my blur. I didn't even get paid for that advertisement. Can you believe that? I hope it's still around, like in five years when this video is still here. Anyways, that has nothing to do with what we need to know right now. Um, what should we start with first? Uh, let's do cones. So cones, I'm going to give you some formulas. One for the surface area. We'll do that first. I always abbreviate surface area as SA because I'm lazy. And the other one's going to be volume. So volume. You always like in the bottom, like once you get down to the bottom, there's always that last crunch that's filled with ice cream. And also has that crunchy kind of like waffle to it. That's my favorite part of ice cream cones. Okay, surface area. Um, what are we saying? Um, surface area is going to be... Oh, what is this silly formula for the surface area? 4 pi... No, 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 not that one. The surface area is the square root of r squared plus h squared. Of, oh, no, no, sorry. It's pi r squared plus pi r s. <laughs> oh, here we go. And yeah, we give you these formulas. Teachers give you these formulas. This is why this is like this lesson is giant formulas, which in reality we're not really that concerned about because it's all about how you actually use the formula. So pi r squared plus pi r s, which I'll get to in a second because you're like, well, what is that? Well, first off, let's take a look at what does a cone actually look like? So if I was going to open up the net of a cone, it would look like this. Kind of like a, there we go. And then there's a, there's a circle there. That's what it looks like if you had to open it up. And hopefully you can see how that just wraps around that circle, um, which is pretty neat. And if you had to go and say, well, so this formula is actually not too bad. So we're saying this is pi r squared, right, for that circle. And this pi r s is for this part. But you're wondering, maybe, what is the pi r s part? So let's redraw this one. Let's redraw it the way that you're probably going to see it in textbooks and in questions. So you're going to see it like this. And how do you draw it? So you draw an oval. You kind of draw an oval. And then on each end of the oval, you connect it to this point. In the middle, like this, and down like that. Oops, <laughs> that wasn't very good. Let's try it again. There, and there. Then, of course, you know that I, I like doing these ones. And sometimes you'll see some really fancy teachers. Not draw it like that. They'll do the dots here instead. So I'll be the fancy teacher, and you kind of go like this because this is like behind, right? You don't actually see it. And then the actual height goes straight down, right into the middle there, and then you have the radius. Okay, so I do that because I want to know the different parts of that formula. So S, so what is S? So S is kind of the side. So that's what we say the S is. This is going to be your radius. Okay, so that will start doing this. And just for, for argument's sake today, we're going to use pi as 3.14. 
Now your teachers might want to use 22 over 7, or if you have a really cool teacher, they'll just use actually the pi symbol, and they'll leave their answers in pi. But we're not going to do that today. Nope. No, we are not. So shall we go and do some of these? Sure. Let's do it. So for the surface area, let's just go and throw out some numbers here. So let's work. We do a question. Let's do a question. Well, let's just use this picture since we already have it. Okay. So I'm going to say this is uh, 12. Is that a good color to use? What? Did you just say no? You don't like that color? Okay. We will try. Ooh, this one looks pretty good. That's a good color. So it has 12. I uh, will say this is four and that's all we really need to know well, this is pretty easy to do then isn't it okay so here we go we're gonna use that exact same formula so we got pi times the radius squared right plus pi times the radius times the side so that's all it is, right? That wasn't too bad. So again, this isn't um, really hard to know. You know the, kind of know the parts. And after that, you're basically just going and using your calculator. So the first part gives you 50.24. And then you're going to go and add the next part. And you get 150. Ooh. All right, that's a big part, 150.72. You're going to add those two things together, and you get the amazing answer of 296, just like I planned. 200.96, and you're going to say those are, of course, units squared. Boom. Okay. So that's your volume. I'm oh, sorry, that's your surface area. We're talking about uh, volume. This is probably going to be the part that your teachers are probably going to emphasize more. It's just a third base times height. So the volume, just oops, there we go is one-third base times height. Now I want to do a little thing here because I'm going to say what is this base? So the base is this part, right? So base is pi r squared. Pi r squared. The area of a circle. Okay. So hey, let's just go and do those numbers and do this question then. So here, this would be, it would be one-third times the base, which is pi r squared, which is 3.14, and we just did this, right? Times the radius squared times the height. Now I need to give you the height. So I'll give you the height here. And I'll say if that was 12, the height was 10 times the height. There. That's what it is. So right away, so it would be 1 third, and we know what this is right now, don't we? Because we just did it, didn't we? We did it right here, didn't we? 50.24 times 10. So that's all we're going to go do, and it's going to multiply all those together, basically. That's not too bad. And times it by, now you're using, obviously, a fraction. So it depends on how your teacher wants answers, but usually when we're talking about all this kind of stuff using decimals and you get a little repeating decimal here so 167.46 units cubed can I fit it in oh no oh I totally can units cubed there we go so that's surface area and volume of a cone okay pretty straightforward not too bad I can't believe I fit all that into one thing. Let's get on to spheres. So onto spheres. So for a sphere, um, what's the best way to draw a sphere? Uh, the best way is use your circle. That was a horrendous circle. And then you're going to add in some like a, a super skinny oval like that kind of shows you that, that oh look it's three dimensions and then you're gonna add in what the radius will be 
you usually kind of go like this because you need to know the radius is, and that's r. That's usually how we draw a sphere. And you look at that like, oh, okay. You know, if you're in my class, then, <laughs> then you do this. You draw this circle here, and then you get a green color. You need a green color. And you go, vroom, vroom. and right now, if you know what's just happening right now, of course, that's, it's shooting, what is it shooting? It's shooting Alderaan. And otherwise, put with vroom, die. there we go. Um, <laughs> and if you have no idea what that reference is, go watch episode four. So, what do we need to know? We need to know the surface area of a sphere and the volume. And I'm not going to draw a net of a sphere because the net of a sphere is ridiculous to draw. And it doesn't help you at all. But we do need to know the formulas because that's awesome. So the surface area is going to be pi, good old pi. Oh, sorry, let's go um, 4. Actually, you know what? Most people like to have the 4 first. So let's do it. it's 4 pi. That's better. Um, 4 pi r squared. 4 the surface area and the volume, I'll give that to you right now, why not, is 4 pi r cubed, 4 pi r cubed, all divided by 3. There we go. So you can notice you only need one little thing when you're going and calculating this. You just need to know the radius. That's it. So, let's just say you had a complete Death Star, and you were told that the radius was mm, five centimeters. So this is what the, the formula would end up looking like. Uh, four times pi times your radius squared. Okay, so that's it. So again, you're gonna jump on your calculator and you're just gonna go and do that. Mm, I really don't see that many mistakes whenever I'm teaching this one with kids. Uh, this one actually ends up being a really awesome answer of 314. And we're saying this is centimeters squared. And if you're going to do the volume, this would just be uh, 4 times pi times the radius cubed all divided by 3. So, you know, pretty similar. And you get kind of an ugly answer of 523.3 repeating. Good little thing there, right? They were saying centimeters cubed. So this is volume. But here's the thing. So, the start of this lesson, it was all about the ice cream cone. So I'm going to tell you what teachers do. I can almost guarantee that your teacher is going to do this. They're going to give you a question that's going to say, what is the volume of the ice cream cone? And that's what they're going to do. Which is easy peasy, lemon squeezy, because you've watched this video. Right? That's your like, little... Looks like that, right? Now, knowing ice cream cones, what is the actual ice cream part? What is it? It's half a sphere. Isn't it? So... It's half a sphere. So if you were doing this question, let's just hypothetically say, you would need to take the volume of a sphere and you'd have to divide it by two if you're doing ice cream for ice cream cone problems. Okay? So teachers love ice cream cone problems. I think it's because like what well, makes a nice shape. And plus we like ice cream usually, so it kind of goes hand in hand. So there is your uh, volume and surface area of spheres and cones. Go grab yourself an ice cream. Birds of paradise. Have fun. Thanks. All right. Before you stop this video and run out and go and get like a double fudge extra scoop with chocolate sauce and a waffle cone, go click subscribe or watch more videos. Do something that will improve your math knowledge. Until next time, have a great day.